Welcome back, everyone, to the 1987 Supermod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. It is Monday, the first week of December, 1987. Christmas is just weeks away, and we have a spot show in none other than Davenport, Iowa. And of course, this was a venue and a town that was run for spot shows by the AWA. So again, we are being very legitimate here. So we're going to run the Palmer Auditorium. It's already booked. And let's take a look here and see what else is going on. Oh, what did Jake Milliman do? He's the nicest guy in the world. There he is. He was telling hilarious road stories. That Milliman, he is a funny, funny guy. All right, Kevin Kelly is the only one that's out, so we are not affected at all. Let's take a look at our card. Penny Mitchell is going to face Vivian Vachon in the opener. Dukes and Jammer are going to battle the Texas Hangman. Russ Francis is going to meet Colonel De Beers. Rip Oliver is going to lock horns with Steve Olsonowski. Sheik Adnan LKC is going to face Tom Zink. And then our main event, and it is a big main event, Larry Zabisco and Mr. Saito are going to face the Midnight Rockers for the World Tag Team title. So with that said, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. Let's get to booking. And we got our opener, Mitchell versus Vashan. And these ones are 10-minute bouts, I'm pretty certain. 12-minute bouts, I meant to say, yes. So here we go. Penny Mitchell. And here we go, Vivian Vashan. Since Vivian Vashan has such cold momentum going, we are going to go ahead and put her over. That should help her out. She's booked. That match is booked, I meant to say. Our next bout, of course, is Dukes and Jammer versus the Texas Hangman. Both these teams are in the system. So there we go. We're going to auto-name it. And I think this one is 14 minutes right away, and it is. We're going to go ahead and leave this one open. We'll see who takes the win. I'm betting that the Texas Hangmen are going to get the victory. Russ Francis is going to face Colonel De Beers here. In another 14-minute bout. And there's Russ Francis. And there is Colonel De Beers. Not to be confused with The Beers, but it's De Beers. <laughs> De Beers is going to go ahead and get the win here. Next, we have Rip Oliver and Steve Olsonowski. And they're going a full 16 minutes here. As you can see, this is not exactly the most star-studded, stacked card. And of course, it wouldn't be because it is a fundraiser. This is what you call a spot show. We explained it pretty well in the last episode, so I'm not going to go into it again. But spot shows were specially booked sh shows and usually for a purpose. So I'd like to think here in Davenport, Iowa, they're running this uh, this show as a fundraiser for youth athletics. So they worked out a deal with the AWA. We're going to leave that one open-ended. That match is booked. Here we have LKC versus Zank. And this one goes 18. There's LKC. And there is Tom Zank. Both are plugged in. This match is ready to go. We're going to go ahead and leave this one open-ended. And this is a big main event, especially for a spot show. So we have, we're going to have them go 30 minutes here. They're going to tear down the house. Both these teamers are plugged in here. So it's Saido and Zabisco versus the Midnight Rockers. And we're able to go ahead and auto name it. We just got to throw in the C for the title. That's what I always like to put on the end to indicate that there's a champion. 
I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing there. And this one's going to be an epic. And it's going to be a draw. You'll notice a pattern with spot shows. We're giving them a tease in the main event sometimes. And it's going to be a double count out finish. That is a great main event. Oh, we're too long. Okay, let's trim it down to 25 minutes. And there we go. We are at 111 minutes. This is a solid main event for the spot show. Let's see how the rest of the card does, and let's see how we do in this venue. All right, the ladies get a 46 overall. That's a fair score. Vivian Vashan's getting hit with inconsistency. Whatever. <laughs> there you go. The Texas Hangman get the win with the Hangman drop here. And that was pretty well expected to happen. And you can see just our battery of penalties here for score. And it's a lot, but this is what we're dealing with, with young wrestlers that are new on the scene. This is a decent score, a 61 overall with these two. And Colonel De Beers gets the win with that pancake pile driver, which I'm a big fan of. And yes, here we got the holding back business going on. Fair enough. It's a spot show. Got 4,900 people at the show. That's a nice, nice crowd. Olsonowski gets the win over Oliver here. Olsonowski scores a 61 over, uh, scores a 61. The match overall gets a 62. A very, very nice. That one impressed me. Thought we were going to get a lower score than that. Very nice. Hey, this has got a great score right here. Zank beats LKC. We got a 77 overall. 76, 71, and a 77 overall. And there was even some holding back going on. Not bad. Not bad at all. Whoa, look at the score in that main event. That is a very big score for a main event, especially on a spot show. We got an 87 overall. Very nice. I think we can see in the future what kind of tag team feud is going to draw some money, and it may be this one. This is a nice score. Big numbers from Sabisco, Saito, and, and Michaels. Real big numbers here. Very nice. That is a great spot show main event with a great finish. Excellent. Look at those bonuses just busting out all over the place. Very nice. Very nice. Solid, solid spot show. So again, we're probably all used up on the popularity bumps since we are in the... Now we just started a new month. We probably should have gotten a popularity bump, because we're, but we're not because it's a, uh, it's a special. If anybody can clarify that, I'd appreciate it. Is it specials where you can't get a popularity bump? Let me know. All right, we're going to finish that one up. Moving right along to the tour, which we already have prepped. We will be putting another spot show in here soon, so we can go ahead and get that going. And we'll convert this one over to the white text so we don't accidentally book it again, even though it wouldn't matter. It's a spot show. And we'll look in to see where we want to go next with a spot show. What I am going to do here, I always like to take a look at these real quick. Flair and Garvin are in a feud. Well, that makes sense, huh? Blanchard and Anderson, the Rock and Roll Express got a feud going. That makes sense. Fair enough. Hey, maybe I was wrong. Maybe Mike Graham knows what he's doing. <laughs> hey, we got to see Hulk Hogan finally wrestle here. Look at this stacked card. You got the World Heavyweight title defended, the Intercontinental title, and the World Tag title defended. Wow, this is a huge card. This is the best card I've ever seen the WWF put out in the save. Of course, they're running in our, in our area, which is the Winnipeg Arena. That's a whole other story. That's a heck of a card right there. All right, let's take a look at our upcoming events. And we should not have anything for December in there yet, and we don't. So we are going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you how to do this if you don't know already. So we're going to modify this event. Now we're going to save and continue. 
So we're going to number 16, okay? Rerun Thursday. Friday, Saturday, okay? So there's this was a super nice feature in 20 that we didn't have before that we now have. So there's 116, so we're saved. And there is 117. There is 118. Okay, there we go. I think I screwed something up here. Yeah, we run Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Not Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That was my error, folks. So now you got to go in reverse to fix this. So there's Sunday. And you got to scroll all the way back down. And then miss it like I just did. And then you have Saturday. And then we got to scroll all the way back down. And there's Friday. Done. Okay, so now this is how we roll through it for the rest of the month. This is very easy to screw up, and I have done it. So we're saving and we're continuing, and now we have Friday, week two. There we go, very nice. Saturday, week two. And Sunday, week two. So now we have Friday, week three. Saturday, week three. Sunday, week three. Now we're on to week four. Friday. Saturday, Sunday. So there we go, folks. We are all booked up for the month of December. Now, something that we don't have here that I'll probably plug in and maybe show you later is we will run a Christmas night show. So I'll actually go on the internet and look up when Christmas night was in 1987, and we'll actually run the show on Christmas night. We may or may not do a New Year's Eve um, show. I don't think we're going to. We'll most likely do a New Year's Day show if we do anything. But that's how it's done, folks. That's how you schedule it out. And then based on that and where we're running is where you can set up your spot shows. So week one on Monday, we just did a spot show in Davenport, Iowa. Okay. So Iowa to Nebraska makes sense. We're traveling west. Okay. So we're in Phoenix, Arizona to Salt Lake City. So we'll have to see if we want to do any other spot shows in here. I will do those off camera, and then I'll probably let you in and see what we did, and we'll go from there. So I hope you learned a little bit here, folks, if you didn't know this already. Some of you may ask, too, why I make the tour dates live uh, regular events, and I think I've explained that pretty well. If you do a tour, it'll drop your attendance, and um, you, you, don't, you don't want that. So that's, that's why I do If you do it less than, it drops your attendance. So I just do it as a regular event. That way I can get the max, max attendance as it was in real life. You know, they were selling out arenas everywhere. That's why they did it. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this Spot Show episode. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like and share this video with your friends. Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermod is where you can join us in discussion about this mod. And last but not least, if you want the 1987 Supermod and you're not playing already, please go to braddrake.net. Go ahead and drop me a line, and I'll be more than happy to send you over an email with a link that'll take you to our Google Drive page that'll give you access to the photos, sorry, the picture pack, and also the database. Thanks, everybody. So long for now.